Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're looking at the new personal transporter buff, as well as something I found out about the One Punch Kong. Anyways, let's go on to the video. <laughs> Alright, so first thing first, the personal transporter got a pretty good buff. Its body is now connected to its wheel, meaning that it can go up ramps. Even though I don't care too much about this car, I'm glad they buffed it in some way, because it was just really, really bad. Like, it was basically unusable. And it is a legendary car, so I guess it should have some usage. Now don't get me wrong, it is still a really bad car, but at least you can kinda use it. Alright, so moving on, there's something I've noticed about the One Punch Kong. Whenever it goes in the water, I feel like it gets faster. And yeah, I've tested it, and I'm pretty sure it actually does go faster. I've tested it before it goes in water, and after it goes water, and how that affects it going up a ramp, at least backwards. And I've seen a significant increase in speed up the ramp after touching the water. And I'm pretty certain this doesn't happen with every single car, only the One Punch Kong. I tested out with like other heavy cars like the Steamroller and nothing really happened. Also I want to address the obvious thing, the speed ramp. It's not the speed ramp, I can assure you it's not because I've seen this in Ballerina. And when I touched the water, my movement speed had a significant increase and that's why I want to test this out in the first place. Alright, moving along, we were playing some Battle Arena with the Personal Transporter and seeing how good it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty bad, regardless of the buff. Alright, so this map has a UFO and I'm pretty sure all of them do have UFOs, which is not going to be great since, oh my goodness, the Personal Transporter is very flimsy. Wow, he took zero damage from that. Um, okay, luckily there's a saw here, so we're going to be able to take him out pretty easily, I think, unless... Okay, there we go, we got him. Luckily, my trophies are pretty low, so we're facing against some pretty easy opponents. Um, okay, this is going to be kind of a problem. <laughs> I can't even go against a tiny car. I'm going to go against a um, Mammoth, though Mammoth isn't that great of a car. Plus, he is two shot. Oh, no. I'm also two shot, and I'm really flimsy. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, good. Another tiny car, level one common. This should be pretty easy. Oh my god, I just slapped it with my face. Okay, another level 1 car. Um, so it is a legendary, so I guess that is a disadvantage in some way. But, oh no, I'm trapped. Oh, I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm very confused right now. I don't know if I'm screwed or not. Oh god, I'm getting pushed into the... Oh my god, the UFO. Well, anyways guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Again, personal transporter did get buffed, but does it make it a better car? Not really. It's still really bad, but yeah, um, that's the end of the video. See you guys later.